Okay, this is Theo again for FPM Kingdom. And every few weeks on this channel, we're going to be doing like not trans related videos. They'll just be about us so you can get to know us and all that. And this week is about music. Um, I used to be, well, I still am, but I used to be really into music and go to a lot of gigs like every month if I could, or sometimes even more, or I would follow bands around on tours and all that. And um, the only reason I'm not doing that is sort of like my situation, like money and all that. And, you know, they're not touring at the moment, but, you know. And, um, yeah, like, I would say they're probably alternative, like, rock bands, especially, like, British ones, because, you know, they're around and it's easier to go see them. And, you know, they are really talented. And I don't, I think people focus a lot on American bands, when really we do have some really great ones around here. And um, I would say my favourites are The Blackout. Sorry if you can hear jingling in the background. That's my cat. She's playing with the scratch ball. <laughs> and um, yeah, so The Blackout, Lost Profits, um, Young Guns, Kids in Glass Houses. I'm, you know, they're, they're good. I think they're mainly from Wales. Yeah, except Young Guns. Yeah, I like Welsh music. And um, I do like American bands as well, like My Chemical Romance, Green Day. Um, Billy Talent, Thousand Foot Crutch, stuff like that. They're all, you know, it's like a, I, li I like, like, you know, a wide degree of bands. I, I, I'm talking out my ass, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I used to um, go to a lot of gigs. I've seen The Blackout about 70 times live, and Lost Profits about 10, 15 ish. Um, it was a big part of my life from about the age of about 15 to. 19 that was pretty much all i did that's all i spent my money on i didn't buy any clothes I didn't buy anything all my money went to going to gigs and i suppose it does sort of cross over into transness a little bit because i did come out to one or two bands because i sort of knew them and um i wouldn't say we were friends but we were friendly and my friends knew them and i was meeting new people like outside before the gig because i used to queue from like six in the morning and shit like that and I'd be introducing myself as male, and if I hadn't come up to them, then they would then... I mean, I know some of them guessed, so they tried to be gender neutral, because they were like, well, there's something going on here. But then a few of them, they would just be calling me like my birth name, and staying shitty, and it was just sort of awkward. So, I did come out to them, and they took it really well. They um, never messed up pronouns, never messed up my name ever since, and they are really good, and if, like... I'm talking to a group of people and one of them misgenders me or like, you know, like security at the venue misgender me or something, they'll like correct them for me, which is really sweet because, you know, they don't have to do that. And um yeah, so that's um that's pretty much how it is with my music stuff. I don't play instruments or anything like that. I've tried pretty much any instrument you can imagine, but I'm just not I don't have the skill. I have like the creativeness, I, I guess, but I've tried drums and guitar and singing and all that, and it's, there's, no, it doesn't work. I don't have the mind to process that much stuff all at once. I can barely think, talk, and breathe all at once. So, um, that's, it doesn't go well for me. But yeah, so, musically minded fanatic, I guess. And I've met a lot of my friends, a lot of very close friends, pretty much all of them through the bands that I like from going to gigs and everything. So I'm very grateful that I've met those people and that the music sort of led me to them. That's really gay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I will be back next week. Thank you for watching.